Trainer tips. All Pokemon are just data. Don't get attra attached to numbers, you autist. <laughs> oh, good reminder. Friendly reminder. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Date, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. We're at a bit of a crossroads. Route 6, Route 7. I think we're on Route 6. Route 7 is to the left. Route 12 is to the right. Um, so I think I'm going to end up going to the left, because then we're going in a, a numerical order, which seems to make sense to me. I really would like to find a town or some such, but, uh, not yet. Not yet. I lost two curry crawl. Have you seen them? Bro. Are they wild? If they're wild, they're probably dead. That's just how it goes when, uh, domesticated animals escape. When domesticated animals attack. He sends out a Pixela, which is, I think, a grass type, so Wing Attack does some pretty good damage on that thing. String Shot, that's gonna be a pain in the ass, but I do have Quick Attack. Quick Attack in the bag, so I think I'm gonna use that next. Yada! Yada! And that thing goes down relatively easy. Nicely done! So, Tic Tac, next thing out. I think it's also a Bug type or something like that. But it's using Iron Defense. Ooh. Why do all these bugs learn Iron Defense? What the fuck is that? Well, I still uh, get it down to about half health. Magnet Bomb? That's kind of scary. Oh, I thought it was going to be uh, Electric type attack. It's not. I guess it's Steel, if I have to guess. Which I do. <laughs> so, Pecker's just sweeping through this team relatively well. Gutsy Fly, I think, is the evolved form of Curry Crawl, and that thing's going to go down to a couple of wing attacks. Oh, actually, it weathers that relatively well. It's going to take three or four wing attacks to take that thing down, I guess because it's level 25. Luckily, we do get a crit there, but yeah. This thing is uh, just, just kind of flexing in my face. You flexing on me, bruh? Not no more, you're not. Get out of here. Nobody want to see you no more. 856 experience? That is a shit ton. Good job, Pekka. Good job, boy. I would've won if I had all my Pokemon with me. I don't think so. Two Curry Crawl wouldn't save you. Curry Crawl? Curry Crawl? Where are you? Aww. So sad when someone loses their Pokemon, but you should have been a better owner, you know? One, keep them in their Pokemon. Po Pokeball. <laughs> Two, put a collar. Put a leash on that shit. My birds keep eating that bug catcher's Pokemon. <laughs> ah, a mystery solved <laughs> in no time flat. Well, hello, bird catcher. Lovely, lovely to meet you. I've got some uh, tricks of my own. Perhaps you'd like to hear my song. Let me work it. Let me work it. Something in a berserk it. sure uh, what is bring it. You know what I'm talking about? That's Lil' Kim song. Pretty sure. Well, I'm not able to sing this thing, apparently, so go for the slash, see what it does. Probably not much. Actually, it's it's not bad. Oh, please live. Nope. Kim goes down. So sad when that happens. Well, Decker's in relatively good health. Mmm, yeah. Well, we'll choose the rock type. We'll be smart about this, and I will go ahead and just do the rollout, so I can sit back, scratch my ass, play with my dick, whatever. <laughs> you know, you know, those normal things that you do when you're recording yourself for the internet, right? Is that normal? Is that birdhouse thing again? I, I don't know if it's like a legendary Pokemon, or if I should have tried to catch one, or what the deal is. It's one of the only Pokemon I've seen that has a uh, sprite on the overworld instead of just hiding in the grass. So maybe it is pretty good. It's able to live through one plus one rollout. And uh, whatever Pokemon comes out next, it's just going to have his day totally fucked up by my rollout maniac. And Decker's trying to learn self-destruct. It's not a Nuzlocke. I could do self-destruct. Hmm... I suppose I will, just for the lulls, and also if we get ourselves in a tight situation, it might be good. I don't need to worry too much 
about self-destructing my Pokemans. And there's a Durky, Turducken. He uses frustration, but that's gonna be resisted. And I should be able to get the rollout. Yaw! Hell yeah. So it's a duck inside of a chicken, inside of a turkey, inside of a rooster, inside of a cow, inside of a rock. <laughs> Something like that. I guess I forgot my just desserts. I got my just desserts. <laughs> what the fuck? You got any money for birdseed? No, bro. There's so many Pokemon out here. Just go catch some. Catch some and feed it to, to your birdies. It's that easy. Oh. Cut it. I want to cut this one. What happened to my cut Pokemon? What the fuck? Do I not have a TM for that? I don't, I don't... I thought I did. I thought I was having quite an internal struggle about who to teach cut to. Well, whoever I taught cut to uh, is not with us anymore. If indeed it ever happened. I could just be having a psychotic episode. Which, you know, that happens sometimes too. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Just enjoy your psychotic breaks. Ooh, look at that thing. A Nani Mouse. I like it. I like it. It's edgy. Look at how edgy it is. I'm gonna try and catch it. And it's a... Uh, a male. A male Pokemon. So I could name him, uh... I don't know. Neck beard, something like that. <laughs> that seems accurate. Really, I've got a thing for mouse Pokemon. Before I was able to have a dog of my very own, we had lots of uh, rats and mice and hamsters and the like, so I find myself quite partial to them in most games, at least. And uh, this guy does look like a bit of an edgelord, but. That don't phase me none too much. I think he could be pretty cool if uh, Kim ever falls out of fashion. It also kind of depends. Ooh, little yawn there. <laughs> it also kind of depends on what his um, typing is. If he's got a good typing, then he could be on the team today, son. If I ever find a Pokemon Center. Also, stipulation too as well. Uh, the, he seems to be breaking free from these Pokeballs relatively easy. We might need to use a Great Ball on it. Is he that great that he requires a Great Ball? I guess so. I guess. I don't know. He's got his special defense stat up through the roof. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try a Great Ball on it. I only have two of them. Please make this one count. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Damn. This thing's just gonna end up dying to its own poison. Fake tears? Fake tears doesn't seem like something Anonymous would use. I think, uh, probably give it to SJ Whale or something like that. They seem much more inclined to using fake tears to get their way. Anonymous is just like, whatever. You don't like it? Faggot! <laughs> that's, that's basically what they do. They'll call you names or, uh, order a bunch of pizzas to your house, something like that. One more try with the Great Ball before he dies of poison. Told myself I was only going to use the one, but why not? There you go. Hey! We actually caught it. It might be good, perhaps. <laughs> and here he is. Here he is! The Atheist Pokemon. Oh god. Anonymous is better... are known to be euphoric, having been enlightened by their own intelligence. <laughs> that takes away everything I was supposed to do. I was going to name him, uh, Euphoric. Mmm, let's name him Fredora. Fredora. That's a good name. I guess. It is a boy. And he does have a Fedora. So I don't know what else you want. This, this is the extent of my cleverness. Cleverness? <laughs> Where did that lisp come from? The extent of my cleverness at the moment. Go forth, my rapping squirrels. Well, you got like a, a rapping troop? Is there three of them? Oh, that's the perfect number. Perfect number. If you're going to have a rap group, you should probably have like three people. Then again, fucking like Wu-Tang and uh, NWA and all this shit. 
They got way more than three people. Why do I think three people? I guess because of those Amigos rappers or whatever they're called. Uh, there's three of them. There's three of them. I don't even know. I don't listen to their music or anything like that. I don't listen to any rap music that is, like, current, really. Not because uh, I don't think it's good. Sometimes I catch a song and I'm like, hey! But mostly because that's when I was listening to rap music. And punk music. And music in general. I'm out of the loop these days. Somebody needs to help me with this shit. Square Up's using uh, Fury Cutter, which is not a good idea on a Poison-type Pokemans. So, luckily I get the uh, poison on this thing. Gonna be able to two-hit it with the poison damage ticking away. Ooh, and it missed the sing. Thank goodness. Thank goodness! Oh, I'm not gonna be able to two-hit it. What the fuck is that? How'd you do that? I don't understand. Ooh, uproar. That's a scary move. When is my, uh, when is my Kimmy gonna wear an uproar? Hmm. I guess I shouldn't have evolved it so quick. Oh, Mass Dog. That's so adorable. Is it advice, puppy? Is that what I'm looking at? All I know is I love it and I want one. <laughs> Please give me one of those. He roars out my gremlin, which is just fine. Keck is brought in. Oh, that's gonna be a mistake. That's a mistake. Go ahead and get some free fake out damage and some poison damage as well. I feel so bad. Look at how pretty that dog is. It's the best. It's the best thing ever. And then it starts yawning. And it's so cute. And you just want to hug it. You just want to hug it. Oh, there's a crit. Goodbye. I'm sorry this had to happen to you. Where'd you get that Pokemon, youngster Mike? Yeah, show them the. What? Oh, show them the advice, puppy. What's a squirrel? Uh, well, it's like a creature from another plane of existence. I don't have time to explain that right now. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Hmm, am I supposed to be winding around this way? I guess so. Here's a super caution. That should be delicious for my Pokemans. At least the ones that are still alive. Hmm. A couple bushes that need to be cut. Where the fuck did my... Did I have cut? <gasps> oh, look at this. I love these Pokemans. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glare it first. So I don't end up... Um, They got some really cool Pokemon on this route. So I don't end up poisoning it and destroying its life. I really want it. I want it. I need it. Look at how cute. K Y O O T cute. <laughs> like a, a high school girl would spell it or something. Uses charm. I am charmed. This is one of the the most adorable, uncreative, but adorable. Come on, bag this thing up. Bag it up and take it home. Oh, very nice. So happy to have the masked dog with me. Woo! And gremlin levels from catching Pokemans. That'll do. <laughs> oh, the dog Pokemon. This Pokemon is largely used as a family pet because it resembles a dog from the popular game Earth Animals. Ah! Earth Animals! That's hilarious. I love it. Absolutely love it. If it was a boy, I would name it Noah. Because, uh, that is my my dog's name. And then we got a girl dog, too. It's really my mom's dogs, but I grew up with them dogs. Ruby and Noah. They're Maltesers. They're not uh, as big as this Pokemon seems to be, but that's fine. They're big in my heart. That's what really matters. Somebody lives out here. I'm just going to pick berries off your tree. Is that okay? Hey, buddy. Hello, I'm Professor Stump's aide. Did you notice that there's some Pokemon and their evolutions that have their numberings out of order? Well, you see, those evolutions were discovered later on, but Professor Stump was too lazy to rearrange the whole Pokedex order for them, so he stuck them farther down. That's fine with me, bro. Shit happens. 
Route 7 has this exquisite Moo Moo Milk Cafe. You should pay them a visit. It's just a little bit further north. Moo Moo Milk, you say? I'm quite a fan of Moo Moo Milk. It's so good, it'll make you wish your mother was a mill tank. <laughs> ah, that's weird. That's weird. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Hey, buddy. My dirky keeps scoffing these up. Here, you can have one. Sharp beak. Nice. Maybe I should stop feeding my dirky far dolls. Dirky far dolls? What? Are, are you speaking English? <laughs> I'm so confused by some sentences. I'm just like, what the fuck? Triport City down this way. I do want to go to the city. I think that would be pleasing to me. But there seems to be a mountain pass in my path. Making it not a pass at all. A mountain pass is usually like a valley or something between two mo mountains, isn't it? Fuck. I'm lost. How do I get lost on a route? God oh, damn it. Oh, that thing's so cute too! Conchilla! I already caught two Pokemon on this route. I gotta fill up my P my PC box. Cause then Professor Professor Stump's gonna be like, Oh, you're just doing all my work for me? Well here's more work to do for me. That's how it always goes, you know what I mean? Shit ain't fair. Shit ain't right. So, uh, I guess we need to cut those trees down at some point. God damn it. Now I'm just... now I'm just lost. I'm lost! I've got so many cool Pokemans and, and I can't even get to them. Oh. At least I am uh, leveling up the Pokemon that are in the daycare from my incessant running around back and forth, hither and thither, thither and yon. Um, was, was this the way down here? Maybe. I don't really know. Oh, it is. Good. Now I can get to the top of the mountain. It's the top of the mountain! I wish there were more Pokemon here from my home region. Zubat and Geodude were my bros. Aww. That's that's a good point, dude. Are you a Gen 1-er? He's old. He looks like a general. Gen 1-er. That's okay. No problem with that. My brother had this special Blavos plush in his closet. He doesn't use it anymore, so you can have it. Pokey doll. Wonderful. I still don't know why my brother made that hole on the plush's back, though. Uh, I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> I can't explain this to you right now. And your current current age and state. I really love my bro Pokemons. But it's nice to have something a little different, you know what I mean? If you just uh, run around with a Blastoise all the time. Blastoise Arcanine. You know, the same setup that I usually do when I play through Red. Which, you guys haven't seen me play through Red, have you? Oh, we should go back and do one of those Gen 1 games. Look at that cheesy lady! That's really weird. Really weird, it scares me goodbye. Maybe I should do Red. But, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't like games that aren't in color. <laughs> it's really awkward. You know what I mean? Is, is somebody gonna watch that? I thought about doing Final Fantasy Legends. You do not need to fill out any CAPTCHAs to speak to NPCs. Looks like that 4chan pass you bought isn't so useful after all, is it? No, it's not. Do they still do that? I guess they do. I haven't been to 4chan in quite a while, but last time I was there, you had to do CAPTCHAs. Hey buddy, you messing with me? You wanna go? I, I was just saying hey. It's a cool Mario hat, etc, etc. Lifter Chad sent out Muscle Dude. What the fuck is that? Looks like it's got, like, cancer. Is, is it okay? Should I put it out of its misery? Uh-oh. He used an X attack. That means this thing is gonna hit me pretty hard. But, uh, we'll do what we can against it. Luckily, it doesn't seem to move too fast. It's level 26, I'm level 23, and I still move faster than it. 
and I know Douglas isn't that fast. So this bodes well for the uh, the rest of the fight. Uh-oh, here comes revenge. Ooh, it hurts. Damn, and a crit. Douglas, no! It's all right, he'll be back. He'll be back one of these days. Let's see if uh, Cat can do this with the fake out. Or maybe it's a rock type, I don't know. We'll see. Nah, it's good. We got it. Cool. Defeated. Calm down, dude. No, you! What the fuck? Get in my face like that? I work at the gym in Triport, but I can't stand the people there. Yeah, that's generally, uh, about a gym for ya. Why, why, why you wanna go to the gym? So you can just show people? Look at me, I'm working out. Oh, look at this interesting fella. I did something with my mom and suddenly this item appeared. Can you take it? Lucky egg. I hope this thing raises your the experience your Pokemon gains in battle. Now tell me, quickly, what is the thing that you did with your mom? Pokemon fan club. Hey, I'm a fan. It's you, Kimmy. Oh, howdy, Dayton. Nice to see you again. You showed up a little too late. The meeting's already finished. But hold up now. You came just in time for the real fun part. I reckon we'll be seeing each other again on the Ruse Cruise real shortly. Ah, oh, thank you. I usually have to get this from Bill. Ta-ta! Okay, see you later. Thanks for the free ticket. Should I still go in here and talk to people? No, because the door is locked. I've never... What, they lock doors here? What the fuck? Hey kid, wanna know about my secret clubhouse? Yes. It's called A. And you aren't invited. Suck it. B B B B B B B B B. I created B. Van Dash are very useful. They can learn all the HM moves. That's why people call them HM slaves. Did I have an HM slave? Or what's going on? I swear to god I had an HM slave at some point. At least one that I pointed out to become one. Trainer tips. All Pokemon are just data. Don't get attra attached to numbers, you autist. <laughs> oh, good reminder. Friendly reminder. You need to find a fucking Pokemon Center or something. Where's that? Here it is. At least they're not gonna charge me 500 Poke. Hooray! Socialized medicine! Kind of. Maybe. Sometimes. A little bit. In Pokemon. Hooray! My Pokemon are all healed. Wonderful. I think, uh, Kek is lagging a little behind? No. Kim. That's okay. She do pretty good work. I'll tell you what. I'm studying the Pokemon Flow Ray. While it appears to be grass and fighting in nature, its real typing is quite different. In fact, it's a dark and poison type. What? I think we've been rused. Is is it really? Are you are you rusing me? He's a scientist. I don't think he'd ruse me. Then again, he told me the Earth was round instead of flat, and we all know it's flat. At least in the in the Pokeverse. I've been training my Nauseon to have equal stats in everything, and it's not evolving. Did I do something wrong? Oh, I think Nauseon is one of those like Hitmon Pokemon. Where you have to have it a uh, certain, like, attack is higher than defense and then it evolves. That's what I am to infer from that. You know, I had a Chisetta once, but it disappeared one day. I wonder where it went. Well, he probably ate it. I was booting up the game right and it said press start, so I pressed the power button because that's what usually starts the thing. But it turned off. How was I supposed to know? Uh, you, you, you were supposed to know. The power button. I'm gonna go beat that dog. Usually the power button, like, does does powery things, you know what I mean? I, I, I know, like, scientists, electrician scientists, but that is what I would infer. Hello there. Oh, fuck! Hi, Dayton! Are you going on that boat? Oh, that sounds epic. Me? Oh, I'm gonna stand around, because I'm an NPC. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Somewhere, not far from Fortune, there exist even more Pokemon that haven't been documented by official sources. Huh? Where's that place, you say? I think they're called the Epic Islands or something. Ooh, wouldn't that be wonderful? 
We could go to the epic islands. I've got the dog downstairs going absolutely ape shit. So, uh, there's a couple of cuts in here. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome to the Ruse Cruise. Please show me your ticket. Dayton Flash the Cruise ticket. And his penis! Go right ahead. Okay, great. Here we are. A cruise? I've been rused into a cruise. Uh-oh. Back the fuck off! Uh, uh, I have been rused. This is not good. This is not good at all. Team Karma Grunt wants to battle. Well, come at me, bro. Why you gotta, why you gotta be like that? All sneaky and shit. You could just challenge me to a battle like a normal person. We're both human beings, you know? Kinda. I mean, I'm a human being. You're mostly an NPC. But still. But still it counts. Those fucking mud slaps, they're gonna start adding up real quick. 20% accuracy gone already. Come on. Oh, uh, no. Now we're missing. And he just keeps doing it. I don't know why he keeps doing it. Please stop doing it. There we go. There's the slash. That's what I need. Of course, I'm going to have to switch out of here post haste. Because uh, it's not going to go well. Euphoriel. You for real? Um, let's get... Um, I don't really know. I guess Decker. Decker's a safe choice. Everybody likes them rock types, right? That'll keep me safe. Oh, but he's minimizing. That sucks. These fucking evasion moves. Terrible. I definitely don't want to self-destruct now. Uh, probably not magnitude either. So I'll try just rock throw. Hopefully that's gonna work. If all else fails, I can use uh, Faint Attack, but I don't think that's going to be very effective. You got, like, um, a Dark Typing, I assume, with Euphoria. And Keck also has a Dark Typing, so it'll be same type attack, but yeah. I'll end up losing out. That's, that's almost assured. So, here we go. A little bit knockoff. We can live it! Oh, but we missed the fucking attack. Not good, not good. I don't like it. Um... How about Keck? Maybe Keck can do a thing. There you go. Get out there. Knockoff's not gonna be very effective. Maybe we can do the fake out and then everything's gonna be awesome. Look at that! Bam! Done! Get out of here! It's over! 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 Teleports behind you. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. It's a hologram. Oh my god. A hologram? There's some uh, jewelry going on in this room. Hello there. Hello, sir. Payday's my favorite move. Huh. I think it's everyone's favorite move. We can live like a king! If only for one day. <clears throat> Chompest. Definitely has rock typing. So I don't think I want to keep Kim in here. And besides, that thing has intimidated me, so that's not going to be good. However, we can get the sing, which is always nice. Aw, oh, go nappy nap. That's right. Have a little sleepy sleep. And then uh, I guess Douglas could get in here. It's pretty good for the first gym, and the second gym, for that matter. I guess the gym typings don't change very much. So we've got uh, an electric gym up next. Which, uh, I think we should be able to handle relatively well with Decker and Douglas, because Douglas can resist shit as well. And he's got a camouflage, transforms into the normal type, which is not bad news necessarily. I'll go ahead and try the bullet seed. Bullet seed! And it's definitely doing less than Razor Leaf. I guess because it changed typing, but, um, yeah. It's, it's going okay! It's doing just fine. Oh god. He woke up and he went back to sleep and he healed back to full. And everything is just going fucking terrible. Alright. I don't have any fighting type pokes either. So that's not going to be good. Oh. I guess I'll just have to whittle it down. Whittle it down the old fashioned way. This is how we do it around here. Um, I missed my Razor Leaf? I didn't know that was possible. I thought Razor Leaf was one of those awesome moves. It's always like, hitting everything, every time. Hopefully he doesn't use Rest again, because I will shit a brick. 
Bricks will be shat. There it is. <laughs> Brick. Shat. Oh. Oh, maybe I should be, uh, trying something else here. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. There's a crit on the razor leaf, so that might help a little bit. Unless he just uses rest again. Just keep spamming razor leaf. Eventually we'll we'll get through it. There's a double crit. Hell yeah. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. End this shit right now. Third crit in a row. Hacks. Hacks of shit. Oh god. He woke up and used rest. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to fucking kill myself. Right here. Right now. Live. I mean, I don't even have a face cam on at the moment, so it would be a bit of a waste. But I still I still feel like doing it. If you if you want me to be completely honest. So this thing is now um normal type, so I should be able to get some good slashes in on it. Maybe I can howl. If he wakes up and rests, then I can just keep howling and uh smack that shit down. Oh, there's the takedown. Oh buddy. Oh god. Wow. That is hurdy. That is hurdy as shit. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do now? Oh boy. I guess Keck. Keck can uh, stop him from resting for one turn with Fake Out. But then what's gonna happen? He, I'm, I'm gonna use Bug Bite or Feign Attack and he's gonna end up fucking just resting again. Oh, there's a takedown. Oh god, please don't kill me. Yep. That's really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate, but at least he's within KO range, so hopefully Pecker's gonna be able to pull this thing through. Pull your Pecker through! There you go, wing attack! Bam! It's over. Dead. Jesus. Ran a little long this episode. I didn't expect to fight that fella. That merchant. Don't you touch my gold! <laughs> I get it. Know any weak trainers I can battle? Why Why you always, why are you always about that, bro? Why can't you just be cool? Be fucking cool. Anyways, we'll uh, explore a bit more of the Ruse Cruise in the next episode. Hopefully figure out what's going on with Team Karma. Because there's like holograms and all kinds of shit around. Which uh, is bad news, generally. Unless it's like a Tupac hologram at the Grammys or something like that. But even the Grammys, why are you there? That shit sucks. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like comment and or subscribe share the video if you did enjoy because that all helps to spread the word of Dayton does I've also got discord patreon Twitter links all in the description if you would like to follow me there maybe donate a bit of cash that would be much appreciated and it would go towards the channel and also keeping me and my family alive so <laughs> I appreciate you watching once again this has been Pokemon Clover I've been Brandon Dayton your humble narrator thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one, friends, and until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.